So you see a car for sale that you love and you know you just have to have it. It's the year you want, it may be the color you want, or the make and the model may be your favorite. But there's a guy I met who buys cars for the most important thing, and that's the history. Today, I will be talking with Skip Tetz, yep, that concrete guy, and I will be showing you his amazing award-winning collection and the history behind a few of them. I'm Donna Kessler, and we are doing my favorite thing, talking shop on My Ride Garage. Hi everyone and welcome to My Ride Garage and I am here with Skip Tetz who has one of the most amazing and most historical collections I have ever seen. Skip, thank you so much. You're welcome. We've been planning this for a while. It's been a while. Yeah, and back and forth phone calls and we finally, and it rained this morning, and but we thank God the sun came out so we can like, like take a look at your, your fine collection here. Thank you. Now, you have how many in your collection? We have nine cars. Nine cars. Yep, nine cars in the collection. And are they mostly Buick and Cadillac? Mostly Buick and Cadillac, along with this Plymouth, 36 Plymouth, and a 58 Mercedes. Uh huh. Uh, my wife insisted on that one. This one here, explain this one. This is a Plymouth. Yeah, 36 Plymouth Rumble Seat Coupe. They made about 6,000 of these, if I remember right. That's all, just 6,000. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fairly rare. Um, Cost six hundred and sixty dollars new. Um, no, those were the days. So this is uh, pretty much original, except for the inside. Some of the paint's original, some's not. The fenders have been repainted. And I bought this car because it was uh, the first car I owned was a '36 Plymouth. And if anybody knew me back in 1959, 60, 61, they know what happened to that car. It got wrecked. Oh. Had Davy Phillips do some work on it. We mm -hmm. did a clutch in it and uh -huh. the brakes and uh -huh. like that. And it's been a very good car. You were driving around the road and everything? I brought it up here last night because I knew it was going to rain this morning. Mm -hmm. So I put it in the garage. I didn't want to get it all dirty. So yeah. <laughs> I it up. I've put uh, 15,000 miles on this car since I No kidding. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, for you. That's exactly 15,000. Because that's what they're meant to do. They're meant to be driven. Right. Meant to be driven. Yeah, it's a... It's a, it's it's a, a very nice car. Very yeah, it dependable. is. It is. Now, we got over here. Next one. What we got here? All right. This is a 22 Cadillac. Mm. Uh, seven passenger. And Cadillac called it a Suburban. Uh, so that that's what it is. A 22 Cadillac, seven passenger Suburban. It's a V8. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not quite sure the horsepower on this one. Probably... I don't know, 70 horse or 60 horse, something like that. Uh, Three-speed transmission. It's another eBay purchase. I never saw the car before I bought it. And um, you just went on a whim. What they just have? Did they have a picture there at all? They had pictures. Okay. And a description, which turned out to be accurate. No, that's good because sometimes they're not. Right. This car has 16,000 miles original. <sighs> oh my gosh. The inside is original. Some paint on the outside's been redone. The nickel is original. Uh, it even has the shades on the windows are still in it. Right. That's, that's what like really fascinates me, that right down to the shades on the windows. Haven't driven it very much, uh, and I don't know why. I, I, I need to get it out. It's a 40 mile an hour car. That's uh, uh -huh. uh, Strick, strictly about. back road. Yeah, yeah you got to keep it out of the big traffic. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. And wood spoke wheels and everything. Yeah, they call them artillery wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't cleaned them and I'm probably not gonna. I'm gonna leave this car exactly the way it is. You, you know can... what? The patina on this right. is just stunning. If you look at the front here, uh -huh. it's got the old original leather spring covers on it. Oh right my there. gosh. They didn't even deteriorate. Right, and uh, that, that's... the leather cover on, you, on your steering arm. Yeah, and yeah. Pretty much Wow. Like I said, pretty much original. Wow. Well worth it. Well worth it. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful uh, this is Caddy. A 1936 Cadillac Town Sedan. Uh, they made this in the V8, V12, and V16 version. Mm -hmm. They made a total of 901 V12s that year of all body styles. So I don't know how many made of this, but there's very few of these left because it's a V12 and like I said, they only made 901 of them. 
and uh, you you see them around. They're around. They're not totally out of, out of existence. But right. There's not a lot of them. But they don't look this good. Well, some of them do. Some of them don't. Yeah, the majority. This car is in pretty good shape. It's in excellent shape. We've done about uh, total around twenty five thousand miles in this car. Oh my god. Most of that on the caravans, but just driving around here. So this this car is, you know, we got the bugs out of it. It's pretty dependable. Uh -huh. It's uh, fairly modern in the fact that it was the first year for independent suspension and I believe the second year for hydraulic brakes. So the 15 years between the 22 and the 36 or 14 years uh, is quite dramatic. Yeah. There's a lot of different things on this car. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you just, you did the uh, mirrors over you were telling that, me. That's on the 37. That's on the 37? Yeah, that's on the 37, which unfortunately is not here, but maybe sometime we'll do a show. Yeah, on. yeah. And this one over here, this one, everybody's going to recognize this car. Yeah, this car is uh, the John Slauson car, which was willed to uh, John Kelleher, Kelleher. over yeah. on uh, Sprout Street. And that's the pe person that everybody knows. Uh, <clears throat> John Slauson lived out on... East Main Street, right next to I-84, mm -hmm. and it's all original, original paint, there's maybe one or two slight chips in it, and the, in, the interior is all original, it's in real good it's shape. It's immaculate, yeah. it's immaculate. I know John loved this car, and it couldn't be in better hands. Right. Couldn't be in better hands. Awesome. Well, I know you got a few more cars inside, so we're going to head inside in Skip's garage here, and we're going to take a look at some more. So now we're inside, and as you can tell, Skip's got double-decker going on here with all his, his rides that he has here, but each and every one of them are just absolutely gorgeous. And everybody's going to recognize this one because he has brought it to the cruise night. Uh, we see him pulling in with it, and I knew it. As soon as he lifted the cover and I saw the stripe, I'm like, oh, I know that one. Tell us what this is. Uh, this is a 28 Buick Model 50 Brome, which it was the luxury version of the Buick. Uh, it's been repainted, has uh, 31,000 miles on it original, <laughs> and uh, the interior is completely original. So uh, the motor's original in this too? It's the original motor. We uh, did a valve job on it one time, but other than that, it's completely original. As far as I know, uh, nothing's ever been changed on this car. Mm-hmm. And they're a very good running car. Um, Here, open the door on it. Okay, we'll open the door. Yeah. Here. Take a look on the inside. Look at there. that. Uh, the only thing that's been done on the inside is I had the nickel plating done on the uh -huh. window winders, door handles, uh -huh. and everything else that's nickel. And this is nickel, not chrome. Uh huh. Uh, and that was the year they changed. And I, I, the research I did said some of the cars had chrome, some had uh, nickel. This one was made with nickel, so I re -nickled it. A lot of guys don't do that because it's hard to keep shiny. And that's the original wooden wheel on there too? I, that's the original that's wooden wheel. Like gorgeous. I said, all, the, all your inlay. Yeah, the inlay is beautiful. It's detailed. You probably can't pick it up with that. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's very detailed and it's all original. I didn't have that redone. Yeah. Wow. Um, gorgeous. Your, your back seat like has side a, doors. Uh, foot rest uh, tilts up and a roll little rest. shades right the shades uh, and uh, what are these little things on the side here just to hold their stuff ashtrays ashtrays yeah these cars people were smokers back then and they even these old ones they didn't have lighters in them yet uh the 36 cadillac does it and i think the, the plymouth has one too uh-huh we unhook them so they don't have a fire but, yeah uh, <laughs> They were big on smoking, so you have plenty of ashtrays and plenty of lighters. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so let's take a look at the 50 that you have down here. And, and, you know, a lot of people might not think, well, like, this is not in that great a shape as the other car. But I think this one is more special than the other car. Well, this car is very special for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought it from a fella down in... Jersey, I can't remember his name right this minute. Uh, and he bought it new, his grandfather rather, bought it new July of 1928 at Somerset Buick in New Jersey. Uh, the place where I bought it was probably 15 miles from there or so, 15, 20 miles from Somerset. 
I have the original uh, bill of sale from Somerset Buick to this guy, July, whatever it was, uh, 1928. And paperwork is worth its weight in gold. You have paperwork to go with your car. Right. It's, it's priceless. So we know, we know the complete history. The last year it was on the road was 1949. I have the uh, New Jersey 1949 plates. Then it got parked in a garage. After probably 20 to 25 years, it got moved to another garage on the same property. Didn't get started, got pushed. Mm. And at that point, it, it stayed in this garage till probably 2012 or so when I bought it. I'd have to look that up. And in the meantime, the roof had gone bad on the garage. So if you see the front end's a little more rusty than the rest of it, the reason is, is there was about a two or three foot hole in the roof <laughs> that leaked right straight down on the radiator shell and um. the front fenders. But we're going to keep it as a preservation car. Absolutely. And it's never been wrecked. It has the original interior. Uh, this is a seven passenger car. If you open up the mm -hmm. back door, you can see it's got a couple of... Uh, pulled out. Oh, seat. look at that that are still original. Wow. And I uh, wouldn't want to have to ride on them, but they're, that's yeah. the way it was. It's a seven passenger. Uh, huh. And that's the way it is. It's got all the window shades. It's got one that I can't get up, but I have a guy that can do that. Uh-huh. Down on my restorers. I won't touch it myself because they're so fragile. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the only thing we've changed on this is a head had a parts car. The head was cracked uh, in the wire. Uh, our guy, John, that works on the other side of this shop, he rewired it. Uh, radiator hoses, of course, they were rotted out. But it has original style clamps on it, so, mm. you know, it's period correct. And the wiring we had to do, because there's no way you could run yeah. it. It's too dry. Yeah. Tell everybody about this one. All right. Uh, this is a 29 Cadillac. Model uh, 1183B, which is a dual cal phaeton or a sport phaeton. Actually, it's a sport phaeton. Mm-hmm. Um, V8, 341 cubic inches, 90 horsepower, weighs about 5,100 pounds. The uh, beauty. And it's all, uh, as you can see, chrome, uh, Art Deco. Mm. And this car came out of Martha's Vineyard. Oh, no kidding. And then it went to uh, near Hartford, Connecticut, and that's where I bought it from the second or third owner. And he had it repainted, which he really did a good job picking out the colors. Of the oh, yeah. The car is outstanding. I can certainly see this thing riding around on and, Martha's Vineyard. And uh, Gorgeous. I think as far as the guy did some research on this, there's about 25 of these exist. The oh, that's all. Of, of, these tw of the 29s. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you got 30s, 31s, V16s, V8s, V12s. But of the 29 V8 Sport Phaeton, there's around 20 or 25 of these that exist. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Now, you, you not only have a history of, of these kinds of vehicles, but you were a race car driver. Yeah, for a short time, we had sprint cars. My brother and I had sprint cars, and I wrote, wrote run a few modifieds here at Middletown at one yeah. time. Ask Jerry Higby. I wrecked his car for him. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Sr. <laughs> I'll have to ask him. <laughs> I'll have to ask him. Said, but we're, 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 that? I said, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but we're, we're going to have a whole other show based on all the stuff that Skip has on, on OCFS and, and the tracks in Goshen and everything. And he has photographs and a lot of memorabilia. So that we're going to have a whole other show. So be tuned in to My Ride Garage for that upcoming one. Skip, thank you so much. Well, I, thank I, you. I, oh, we, you. Everybody's head turns when you roll in with one of these. At the car cruises and the car shows and everything, and you know, I'm so happy to like finally, finally get here and talk to you about them. Thank, Thank you, you very Thank much. You, you know, a car is a car is a car, but if you do your homework and your research to find out the history and the stories behind them, then that makes them so much more than just a body on four wheels. They are historical treasures, just like this one that should be preserved and seen, and Skip Tetz is doing just that. 
There'll be more My Ride Garage on Skip and his history on the dirt track in an upcoming episode, so be sure to pick up a Monday paper to read the My Ride feature or go to recordonline.com slash myride to find out when. I'm Donna Kessler. Thank you for joining me on this episode of My Ride Garage.